walked a golf course or an open field or grass, even a city park, then you know there seem to be more Canada geese hanging around in Maine year round than ever before. And at Daring Oaks Park in Portland, officials are pleading with people not to feed the geese and the ducks, especially bread. Why? Well, take a look at this photo. The geese seem healthy enough, right? However, take a closer look. See the deformed feathers? That is what we are talking about tonight. Apparently, all that bread is causing a lot of long lasting harm. Here's New Center Maine's Rye Wooten. Amongst the gaggle of Canada geese that graze grassy areas in Deering Oaks Park, there are two whose wings stick out like sore thumbs to Portland residents. They suffer from angel wing syndrome. I knew they lived here, so I was like, I wonder if I can spot one. It's a wing deformity causing the last joint of a bird's wing to twist, making their feathers point away from their body instead of lying flat. These deformities exist because of an excess of carbohydrates and excess of protein. Diet, even for geese, matters. One thing that absolutely should not be in a geese, ducks, or other waterfowl animals' diet is bread. I don't know who originally first started saying let's feed the stale bread to the ducks, but to this day it's just something you do. When waterfowl consume excess carbs, their flight feathers grow rapidly. And when the flight feathers grow faster than the underlying wing structure, the feathers get heavy. Then they twist and no bird can fly with wings like this. And even though waterfowl of the park don't always want to fly, they might need to if an eagle comes by or if they have to get away, get away from a vehicle or something like that. So it puts them at severe risk and you do see roadkill waterfowl with angel wing. And I think it's because they're less mobile. They just can't pick up and fly away as easily. Several signs are planted into the ground at Deering Oaks and other areas where Canada geese and ducks dwell, warning people not to feed them bread. I think when we do see a sign, we should read it and take it seriously. Um, they're there for a reason. But people still do. Portland Parks and Recreation is asking people to stop feeding the waterfowl altogether. But if you must, bird experts like Derek Lovich say cracked corn is cheap to buy and safe for waterfowl to eat. Maybe we have to think about geese and ducks, waterfowl, kind of like we think about our pets, where we need to f take the initiative to learn what's good for them and feed them the right thing. In Portland, Ryan Wooten, New Center, Maine.